everybody, this is Craig and welcome to Air Pop Control. Today we got, uh, looks like we got a, a mail, viewer mail, something. I'm not sure what that is, but it's And then we have a mystery box from uh, the Nerdy Newt, which you will like this one. Anyway, we'll get to both those right after this. Before we do anything else, got to say hi to my post office people. Got to say hi to my grandkids. Got to ask you to subscribe if you would, please. And uh, give it a th this video a thumbs up if you like it. Hit that bell notification if you uh, want to be notified of any videos coming out in the future. Um, let me see. Oh, one thing I did want to mention is uh, I've had a couple people ask me this before, and I never really thought much about it, but. Um, if anybody out there would like, uh, if you have a picture of your pops, a display you have, doesn't have to be pops, it could be some other type of, uh, you know, things like that, uh, and you want it shown on T on not TV, <laughs> on YouTube, um, send me a pic. I'll put it up here. We'll do a little shot for you, and uh, you, but just make sure you send me what your name is and whether you want me to use that name or not, and it can be your screen name, it can be your real name. It doesn't matter, but I just need to know before I mention any names on here. Anyway, okay, well, that's done. So I got this box. Now, I'm not sure what it is. Now, some one person did contact me recently, and I'm not going to say the names, and asked me if I wanted a pop. And they told me what it was, and I said, well, yeah, I don't have it, and I'll take it, but what do you want to trade? He said, no, nope, just giving it to you. Don't know if this is what this is, but I'm going to see what it is. So this is... Uh, let me see. Well, it's taped up pretty good running. Right, let's see. I have no clue who this is from. I know what it does have an address on it, but it doesn't have a person's name on it. It's in a protector. Oh, who was I talking to about this one? Oh my goodness. I this Casper. I absolutely love this pop. Wow, that's an animation glow in the dark. I will show you the glow um, right about now. That is totally cool. This, everybody knows I don't collect animation, but this is this is better than animation. This is stuff that goes back to my childhood. Goodness gracious! And the box really looks great. Wow, that's pretty cool. Please, I I'll tell you, I gotta explain this real quick. And we got a, a lot of stuff to do here, but. Uh, I had a kind of a computer meltdown a couple weeks ago, and a personal meltdown. No, it was just it was Thanksgiving holidays and stuff. But I, I don't know what I did, but I lost all my data and stuff. I've had people contacting me and asking me, hey, what about that exchange we're gonna do? And I'm like, thank goodness you got a hold of me because I didn't. I lost all that info. So uh, I will try to find out who this person is. I know I, I know I talked to the person and I I apologize. I'm gonna apologize right now that I'm not gonna maybe know who you are and please get a hold of me and once you get a hold of me i'll be able to look up the older emails and uh and see if i can find it but right now i'm i'm at a loss of some i'm okay that's done thank you very much that was great the casper pop i love it it's going to my collection not for sale that's nothing stand with me i'm gonna get this other box ready and it's a good one so be right back i'm back folks and uh some people have been telling me i've been talking fast lately it's because i I get a little nervous going over, I like to be between 10 and 15 minutes on these videos, but I've been going 20 and, ah, so I'm trying to talk faster, but probably I shouldn't, just whatever. So here's the deal on this box. This is $200 guaranteed grail box from the Nerdy Newt. Now, if you've watched my videos, you've seen I pulled some pretty good grails, i them up here, from the Nerdy Newt. Here's what this box is. Now, this is it's a little misleading, I think, to me at least. Uh, the, the headline says $200 guaranteed grail box. Now, first glance you think, okay, 200 bucks, you get $200 guaranteed value back. I don't think that's what this means. I think what it means is exactly what it says. Is your $200, you're guaranteed to get a grail box. One grail out of that box. Because later down, down in here, it says, PPG out of the day of packaging value values range from 150 to 745 plus dollars. So to me that says you could possibly lose $50. I'm fine with that. 
This is a, a high roller box, which I like to do, so I'm totally fine. But make, make sure you read these uh, things. And I may be totally wrong on this, uh, but that's the way I see it. All right, Guarantee Grail Pop Mystery Box. Price is $200 plus shipping and taxes. You get four to six pops per box. Top prices include the Gemini Collectibles Glow Chase Spider-Man PPG of $630. Freddy Funko is Genie PPG of $500. An OG Simpson, Homer Simpson PPG of 400. I do have a glam shot of these. I looked at it as backwards for some reason. I'm going to see if I can get it facing forward. But if not, it'll be up here backwards. There, right now. Okay. So, uh, let me see. It says, uh, you're guaranteed one pop value at $50. PPG on the day of packaging. And the values range from 150 to 745. So that tells me 150 is the lowest. A double box. There's a th this is a 30 box run, and the rest of the stuff is uh, stuff that's uh, standard in all mystery boxes. You're not guaranteed mint, you know all that stuff. And you got. He does say that uh, it may be a little longer in shipping because of the COVID thing, which I have found true from him. Um, I believe he's in Tennessee. I'm not sure. Well, I, I crossed out his address here because I'm not sure if that's his home address or work or whatever. Anyway, this is a box. It's kind of a big box, so I'm thinking I might have something big. I, I don't know what's in there. Like a, a 10 inch? Uh, I don't know if it would be a 10 inch. We'll see. Anyway, there we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hopefully, we get something good. I Man, I really can't complain from uh, the Nerdy Nudie. He's, he's always uh, done very well for me, so I can't complain one way or another. Okay, so it is double boxed. Oh, and thank good there's no peanuts in here. That's why the boxes are so big. Oh, I guess I picked, uh, I had to pick a number, it looks like. And I don't remember doing that, but uh, usually I pick 17. But I didn't this time. I picked number 19. And I have no reason why I did that, other than maybe the, uh, it was one of the last boxes to be picked, and I just didn't have a choice. I do like his uh, tape he has here, the Nerdy Newt. I'll put all his information down below. Um, he's been very good to me. Okay, this looks like the bottom. I can't tell. I'm going to open it like this because it, it looks like the bottom box. Where, this is where the tape is and the numbers are. So I'll open it from here. Maybe that's intentional. Alright. I could use a grail. Grails are good. I've been pretty lucky. I can't really complain a whole lot lately. I've been very, very lucky. And I had somebody comment on that the other day on one of my videos. But you seem to do pretty good on these boxes. Yeah, it does seem like it, but uh, <coughs> to me, sitting in this chair doing this every day, or every other day, or whenever I do it, and I go a week without getting something good, and I'm starting like, should I do more, should I not? And then I say it like five or six things in a row, and I'm really happy. I'm happy anyway doing this. Okay, so... Two, it looks like there's six pops in here, so that is not good as far as I'm concerned. That means I didn't probably hit anything big. This is the Nerdy Newt's uh, info. I will put the stuff down below. Uh, I get a hold of him on Instagram. I think that's the way he does these boxes. Oh, no. I think he might have a website. I can't remember. Yeah, he's got a website. NerdyNewt.com. I'll put that information below. All right, I'm going to guess. Let's see what I got. One, two. Ooh, that's... Protector is coming apart. Three. Okay, I got three and three and no protectors and three and soft protectors. So there's no hard stacks, and I would have a hard stack of those. I'll do the three without protectors first. Although one of them is in a sorter box. That's kind of weird. Anyway, without a protector. Yeah, there's still no protector. All right, you ready? One, two, three, go. Now we got Scooby-Doo from Walmart. Um, I have a Scooby-Doo, but it, this, oh, this is, yeah, that's a Scooby-Doo. Huh, it looks small. But anyway, uh, I have one of these, I think, but I don't, it doesn't look the same. This is a Walmart exclusive. Uh, box condition, he does say in here that, you know, he, he doesn't say that w exactly what it is, but these aren't mint, guaranteed mint, which is, Pretty much the way most of them are. Now this is a 2020 pop, so I don't imagine this one's very valuable. But it looks, the box looks great. All right, I'm gonna grab the next one. 
pull it out. I, I'm not sure if I have that or not. I, I'll have to look. I'll look when I do prices. Ready? One, two, three. The Office of Prison Mike Hot Topic Exclusive. I do have this one. Uh, this was a hot one for a while. Everybody wanted it. Uh, I didn't, I've had mine here for a while, and I think it's down in my list down there, and I haven't anybody to try, ask about it. This one, as with all Hot Topics, they always put that, that price tag right over the barcode there. For those that don't know, it's very easy to peel off. It won't hurt the box at all. Just slowly, gently, it'll peel right away. This pop looks also excellent, mint condition. I don't see anything wrong with that. And I don't think that's a very expensive pop nowadays. Okay, so here's the... Okay, this is the last one without a protector, but it's in a sorter box, so I'm not sure whether to... I guess, I don't know, I'll just do this one. I have no clue. It's not in a protector. Soft protector. One, two, three. Oh, it's an ad icon. Oh, wow, that is cool. Oh, yeah. This is Je Jeffrey as Iron Man from Toys R Us. And it's got the Canadian sticker on it because we don't have Toys R Us in the States anymore. It's a 2018 Canadian Convention exclusive. I do not have Jeffrey in my ad icon collection up here. So this is going to go. This is definitely staying here. That is awesome. That's really cool. I, Wow. I like that. Box condition on this. It looks absolutely mint. It's got a little, you know, just a little push out there. It's from the way it was folded. But this, I'd give this a 9.5 easily. Maybe more. That's, that's a nice one. Wow, that's cool. I can't, I don't know if that was a big hit or not. I have no idea what the price of it is. So I got three in protectors. I'm going to pull out the first one that the top was coming off of it when I reached in and felt it. Again, I have no idea what's more expensive or not. I'm going to see if I can fix this a little bit, maybe, without looking at it. Oh, it feels like it's broke. The, way, the thing's broken on it. Okay, so that should be the front here. That should be top. Ready? One, two, three. What do we got? Oh, I got Gabriel Fluffy. Uh, it's from the <coughs> Fluffy shop. I do have this one up there on the top row up, up there. Uh, Fluffy uh, Gabriel Iglesias is probably one of my favorite uh, comedians. My son's really into comedians. Um, I'll have to look up there and make sure mine has a sticker and everything on it. But I probably won't keep this if it's the same one. This is a 001, uh, 01. And again, I'll look up there when I do pricing. I'll look at the box condition also. What it, does it say what year this is from? I can't tell. I don't see it on there. We'll find out. All right, so the next one. Again, I have no clue what's what. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Barking. Oh, is this the, uh, oh, this is the uh, Around the World Pops. This is the uh, English one, I believe. Is it Barkingham? I think it's from England. Yeah, it looks like the British flag. I'm not really good with flags. It could be an Australian flag, but I think it's a British flag. Uh, but anyway, where would it say on here? What country it's from? It's got to be Barkingham from... Yeah, I lived in England for several years when I was in the military. So, Buckingham Palace, Barkingham, I'm assuming it's the same. And the flag looks the same. So, I have never gotten one of these uh, pops before, around the world pops. I'm going to keep this. It's going to go in my collection. It, even yeah, and I now I definitely know if you look in the background it, it comes with a pop and a pin but if you look way back in the background there way back it has the uh, British style telephone the red uh, box telephone when I was in the military I used to make phone calls to my family or to my family you know my mom my dad and stuff and my my wife future wife I should have said from those telephone booths wow that is cool that is good. I'm, I'm happy to have that one. I have one, two. Two I'm definitely keeping. Scooby-Doo I might. And Gabriel, if it's a, if it's a uh, upgrade to mine. All right, this is the last one. It's an up protector also, soft protector. Ready? One, two, three. We got Kill Bill. Well, it's a, a protector's. It's Gogo Yubari, if I'm reading that right. 
I've seen Kill Bill and I actually liked it. Wow, that's I've never had a Kill Bill pop though. I didn't even know they made them. I'm well, why don't why am I surprised? <laughs> so I will have to take this out and look at this. Um you know what? To be honest, I think I probably did not get one of the higher boxes. That's just a guess off the you know, I may have lost fifty bucks on this. But I'm I'm okay, I got one, two, three at least three pops I don't have that I'm going to keep in my collection. The other three, Scooby-Doo, I may not have. I don't know. So, anyway, I'm going to do prices. I'll be right back in a second. All right, everybody, I am back with some prices. Okay, so just to remind everybody, I paid $200 for this box. Uh, there was shipping and taxes included, but uh, can't count those because you got to pay them anyway. All right, so we'll start with the first one. Let's do Scoob. Scoob. Uh, before I start... Every one of these boxes was in absolutely mint condition. I cannot find a single thing wrong with the exception of one. And I'll get to that one. It's the very last box in here that I'm going to show you. And it's a minor, minor thing. So I, I, I'm telling you, these boxes are wonderful. So wonderful job the, ner the nerdy newt did. Okay, so we got Scoob here. This is a Walmart exclusive. Uh, this is a Scooby as a young pup. Uh, that's I think I have the older one. Um, I'm gonna have to go look I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this or not. I if it's available if any of these are available They're gonna be down in my uh, PPG list that you can look at the the, script, the description and uh, Find the uh, link to it. Those are all for sale or trade uh, And you can make offers on it anything and they're not all mint even though it says they're mint. Okay, so Scooby Scooby-Doo the young version is going for $17 Walmart exclusive Okay, and then as uh, I said, Prison Mike here, Hot Topic exclusive, again a mint box. I uh, I do have this one already. Um, the price did come down some since I saw it last, but it's not that. I mean, it's okay still. Twenty one dollars for Prison Mike. All right, and I'm not I, I'm not sure about Scooby. I'm definitely not keeping Prison Mike because I don't collect those. Now this is another mint, but they're all mint. I don't even know what I'm telling you. All right, so we got Jeff Joffrey. As Iron Man. Now, first off, being as Iron Man is just cool as can be. I, I mean, that's I've got Iron Man pops probably in that corner over there. I got a ton of them, and some over here. Uh, but being from the Canadian convention exclusive, that's really cool. Toys R Us, really cool since we don't have that anymore. Ad Icon, really really cool. So this is staying with me. It's going to go up on that shelf up there somewhere. Uh, but anyway, so it didn't matter price, but you offer is going for thirty-six dollars, thirty-six bucks. All right, next one, we're gonna go with. Now I took these three. These three were in protectors. I took the, the these out so I could check them. Again, mint, can bo mint box here. Gosh, I'm having a problem talking. Mint box. Uh, Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias is a wonderful comedian. You haven't seen him go, you know. Bring them up on uh, YouTube or wherever you watch and, and check them out. Funny as can be. This is uh, number one, zero one. The, I did say I had this already. I have zero two up there. Zero two is fluffy with dogs. This is zero one. And this one's actually, I think, worth a, a little bit more. This is fluffy uh, and he's running $38. And it's the fluffy shop exclusive. Whoops. Fluffy shop exclusive. I heard somewhere that he, you know, started doing these things and puts them out on his own, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so here is another. See, this was a zero one one in the corner. This one's going to be a zero one one also. This is Barkingham. Uh, and this is England. And uh, this is, uh, uh, what do they call these? Uh, around the World Pops, what they're called. Around the World. I'm surprised I don't tell you where it's from on the... Uh, box somewhere though I mean for people that aren't world travelers huh. but anyway I really like this I I'm really I'm keeping this one too so I'm keeping one two, I'm, I'm, well I'm gonna keep a few quite a few of these probably but anyway Barkingham Barkingham is going for $43 $43 it does say on PPG all these are PPG prices if you look go and look this Barkingham up PPG is 43 but the starting for sale price on these things is a hundred dollars, so they're worth a lot more. You know, I would imagine if you go to What's uh, app or whatever that 
you know, what's, you know, whatever, what's not or whatever it is. Okay, the final one in here. Now, this one is the one that had uh, damage. He did say in his thing, one of these would be worth $50. Well, he wasn't kidding. This one's worth exactly $50. So we didn't hit any big grails. But this is a Kill Bill uh, Go Go Ubari. I don't have any of these pops at all. Uh, this is a new one on me. But you can see the damage I'm talking about is not a major damage. It just looks like the box maybe was uh, just got a rounded corner here. And it kind of looks like it was pushed out a little bit. See, it's just like, that's all it is. It's probably easy enough to fix. If it does, I mean, I don't see any creases or anything bad on it at all. Especially since this is a 2014 pop. Um, again, with PPG, if anybody knows how to check and see how you, it, on PPG, how you find out if things are vaulted, let me know because I can't figure it out. I know I can go to Funko app and see if they're vaulted or not. But on PPG, I don't know. So anyway, GoGo is exactly $50. So, $200 box I paid for. Total return on this is $205. I actually thought I was going to lose money, and I didn't. However, I'm going to lose money because I'm keeping several of these. I'm keeping the Barkingham. I'm keeping the uh, Gabriel Fluffy Inglesias. I'm keeping, keeping the Joffrey. And I may keep the Scooby, depending. I'm not sure. Because I got grandkids that may like that. And I may keep the Kill Bill one. I'm not, I'm not sure, but we'll see. You know, I'm not sure about those, but I got three I'm definitely keeping. So good job. Uh, I, I, the Nerdy Newt did a great job again. I bought several boxes from them for these high roller boxes, and I will continue to do so because I really like them. Long run here. I'm going to try to edit some of this out, you know, on my rambling. But uh, if not, thank you for watching, folks. Really appreciate it, and uh, be safe out there. We'll talk to you later.